Hi, welcome to an Inventor 2019 video tutorial. I want to do that F1 rear wing exercise in Inventor. So, let's have fun with Inventor. First, I want to create some planes. One should have a distance of 660. Another one should have a distance of 375. Next one at 200. And some more. One with a distance of 100. Another one with 135 distance. Next one again, 135. Another one, 135. And the last one again. First sketch should be on the XY plane. I go for a rectangle which is 650 by 650. Okay, and maybe let's delete this one because I can't trim with dimensioned lines. So another rectangle, maybe here, then a fillet, 100 right there, and I need a spline which starts at this point, goes over here, maybe like that. on this line. Activate this handle right here and make it vertical aligned. Then another line which starts right here and goes over there maybe like that. And let's move this a little bit up like that and now trim. Okay. Trim this as well. And that line might be for construction only. So it's okay. Finish that sketch. In Invent, I have to do it in different sketches because I can't select only one sketch element. So the next sketch again on the XY plane. This would be an arc. Starts here, goes over there, and this maybe like this, and move it a little bit up. Maybe, maybe like this. Okay, and finish that sketch. I will do it with an offset surface in this case because I would have to do a new sketch anyway. So another sketch now on that plane right here, which would be a line, vertically aligned, and it should be collinear with that plane, so you have to project it into your sketch and make it for construction only. Then collinear that plane and that line. And 
this could be a little bit smaller. Let's finish that sketch. And another sketch on the same plane. Another line. Which goes maybe like this. And again, project that plane into your sketch. And this point should be coincident on that line. Okay, finish that sketch. Now, next sketch would be on that plane right here, the top plane, a rectangle, which is 135 by 20. These elements are for construction only. And then a straight line followed by an arc, followed by an arc. So that's still flexible, that's okay. Now make this one and that one tangent, it's already tangent, okay. And this one and that one, nice. And give that line here a dimension, no, the complete one, but from that point here to that line, it might be 30. Great. Now project this plane into the sketch. Okay. And then a line, collinear. This one and that one, and also project that plane and the line collinear, this line and that line. Finish that sketch. Now let's copy that sketch, Control C, and put it onto the same plane, Control V. Hide that one for the moment. Go into this sketch and edit it. So let's see. Usually I have lost those constraints. Yes, I did. So now this needs to be 100. And let's project. Oh, maybe I don't need it. Let's see. No, it's not a line, so I have to project. Project this one. Make it for construction only. And the line collinear. This line with that one. And I could use this as well. Go for that point, should be vertical aligned to that point. Yeah. Finish that sketch. Another sketch right here on the XY plane. And this would be an arc again. An arc which may start up here, go over there, and look something like this. This could be aligned like this, and then I could remove that. And an no, not another one in the same sketch, but in a different sketch. You have to do it in different sketches. Again on that plane, another arc, which starts here, goes over there, and maybe like 
this finish that sketch and another sketch same plane rectangles some dimensions this might be 15 this might be 15 this might be 15 that distance might be 15 and the last one might be 15 as well Now let's move this up. Don't need that. So move it over here, for example, and finish that sketch as well. I think I've done all my sketches, so now I could begin modeling. Yeah, I will do this in the second part of this exercise. So thanks for watching. If you liked it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook cat fan page. It would be very nice of you. I want to get more subscriptions and likes over there as well. So thanks for watching. See you to the second part. Bye bye.